And joining us on the line, great to welcome back to Flow. We haven't spoken to her for a while, but I'm looking forward to this chat from Vixens of Four. We've got Lulu. G'day, Lulu. How you doing today? I'm great, Clayton. How you doing? Doing okay. Are you girls keeping safe and well? We sure are, doing all the things we need to. I understand you've got a, a new addition to your membership at the moment? We do. It's officially Vixens of Four now, not Four. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was wondering, we're definitely, yeah. We're very obsessed with her. She's already five weeks old and I can't believe that she's here but it's like she's been here forever so she's fitting in perfectly do you have to get in line to get the cuddles or uh, what happens oh yeah there's like Mm. a timer and everything (laughs) (laughs) okay you've had enough time it's my turn now change (laughs) yes I can understand that I can understand that and that that always (laughs) seems to happen and and as and as a result of this new member to your team there's a Mm. song about it as well there is. She's very blessed to have a song about her, and she wasn't even out of the womb yet. But our beautiful um, auntie Gina Jeffries wrote, a, um, started writing the song. She said, "I woke up in the middle of the night, and it just came to me." Mm. And we have dubbed Scar- her name Scarlet, yep. and her little nickname is Scout. And okay. she said, "Just Scout's on it. It's a little, a little ode, a little promise yep. to her." And our beautiful writing team, there was Rod McCormack and Sam Gay and Tempe Thompson from Nashville. Good old Zoom. We had this magical piece put together yeah. and it's just, it's one of those pieces to me that I don't even have a child myself and I cry. So I can't imagine a, a parent listening to the song and thinking about their children, it, it's what a, they'd be like. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful to listen to. It, it really... Sometimes when you know a song happens and they say you you can feel what the emotion you can feel everything. Well, this is one of those songs that when you listen to it, you can feel the love that was was involved in everything from the words, the music, the performance, the whole lot, everything yeah. putting it together. You can feel it; it's right there. So, oh, thank you. Yeah, definitely. There were a lot of emotions the day it was um, recorded. So for sure. <laughs> For sure, a lot of emotions going around. And I especially love that line, you know, from the first kick. And that yeah. I, it just it just set the whole, you knew where you were going with this and you were just yeah. happy to be, I guess, just just wrapped up in a little blanket and go along for the ride. Yeah, well, even being a person that just felt the kick from the outside, let alone Nina actually feeling the baby when she's pregnant, um, when I first felt it, I could still feel the little kick in the middle of my palm yeah. for like a day later. I was like, I can't believe I felt her kick. This is just crazy. So just having, especially having that in the song, just very fitting, very beautiful. I somehow feel that it won't be the last song that you girls write about Scout. No, I don't think so. I think she'll nuzzle her way back into a song and you never know with all the future kids with the amount of siblings we have there'll be a lot more songs to <laughs> go around for them it's what happens it's just what it happens does. you end up they, it does they become uh, part of what you do they're involved in it anyway they, they just pick it up and, and it won't be long she'll be part of the group and and uh, yeah you might find yourself getting replaced lulu so uh you yeah might watch yeah, it. yeah better watch out <laughs> uh, that, that's the they'll, way it goes. they'll take over for us and we have a whole lot of kids and they'll be like, okay, move aside, mum and aunties, it's our turn. (laughs) So are we starting to get that maternal instinct firing up in you? What's going on? Oh, I think that maternal instinct for me has been there since I could talk. (laughs) So I've had a lot of people go, okay, your turn. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good being a a Zia, which is auntie in Italian. Yep. So I'm good. I'm good being just a Zia and having the cuddles and then giving her back at the end of the day. That that's what I like, you know, being an uncle, being able to give them back. That's uh, yeah, and for me, great. I, I, I like that idea. And and uh, when, and when they say you can look after them, that's great because um, I have in our cupboard at home. I've got the the raspberry cordial and the red frog. So <laughs> just before they give go them all home, the sugar? yes, you, you just give them a little drink and a couple of little lollies on the way home, and <laughs> not my problem. So nope, that's your problem now. Bye. <laughs> and it's why I'm the great uncle too, which is quite literal. But anyway, and. Uh, so uh, what what other songs are you girls going to be writing? And, oh, incidentally, is this going to be one that you'll be performing at Gimpy? Are you going to be doing it at Gimpy? Oh, it it may, may not. I guess people just have to be um, really patient and find out. No, but we're, we're wanting to. I think this is such a beautiful song that it'll fill the atmosphere. And just Gimpy itself, what, I can't even believe that we're 
playing at Gimpy Muster, that's just yeah. amazing. But having everyone appreciate the muster that little bit more because it was taken away from us last year. We mm. couldn't go. And now being able to perform there, if we just get to play Scouts on our, I think there'll be a few tears in the crowd. I think there'll be a few tears on stage. More yeah. <laughs> go along. I'll try. We'll try to hold it together. Yeah. Can't guarantee about Nina, though. She, yeah. She's a bit of a crier lately. <laughs> Well, that's understandable. But to, sure as you said, you know, Gimpy, it didn't happen last year, and I've spoken to other artists, but this year's muster, they, um, they're, they're quietly keeping their fingers crossed it all goes well. It's like they, they want to talk about it but don't want to talk about it at the same time because yeah. they don't want to jinx anything. And they, But just deep down, how excited and how much is getting on stage at Gimpy going to mean to you girls this year? Well, it'll be our first time actually performing at Gimpy Muster, so we're, wow. we've got – we feel – a, a whole different range of emotions. So we're really, we're nervous to starters because it's always been a, a dream of ours that we never thought it would be a reality. So that in itself is amazing. And then performing to people and like our favorite part about being artists is that we can sing to a crowd and people enjoy it. They sing along or they dance. And mm. I think just being in the atmosphere will be amazing. We did get to perform on the um, main stage a couple of years ago for uh, we were in a talent quest yep. um, and that was on the main stage of Gimpy that was surreal it was just crazy we didn't we didn't essentially win um, because the winner got to go over to Nashville so our um, excuse was that there's three of us it just would have been a bit too expensive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but, yeah, that works, yeah. yeah yeah but for sure I just I don't think, well, for me personally, I don't think I really believe that it's happening until we'll be there. I'm kind of one of those in denial people. <laughs> well, you're not alone there. But, yeah, there are others no, I've spoken for the same. No, but definitely yeah. fingers and toes across that it'll all go ahead. Yes, well, it's not until the uh, towards the end of August, so there's mm. a lot of water to go under the bridge between now and then, and hopefully... There sure is. And hopefully a lockdown to finish and it can all be sorted, but uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed that it'll go ahead. But then after... That all happens. What What's the plans for the rest of the year for you girls? Well, we're just kind of taking it um, each day, each week as we can. We've got a lot of things um, in the pipeline. It's just them actually being cemented in and going through. That's a little kicker at the moment. Yeah. So we've got a lot of dates put, um, booked. I don't have the details as of yet because we're still in the middle of organising it all yeah. and seeing the capacity that we can have. But just that in itself is so exciting. So if people follow along on Vixens of Fall on Instagram and Facebook and our website, they'll definitely see updates regularly. Yeah, vixensoffall.com is the website. I'm looking at it right now. And, and I guess sure is. It, it is hard when you don't really know what's going to be happening with is there mm-hmm. going to be a, a lockdown or what's going to happen. And, and, and yeah, you, you book a show, you book a series of dates, and then suddenly things change. And, and I've had emails the last few days of, of tours that have been totally rescheduled because of that yep. situation. So I can understand yep. sort of the, the nervousness about a lot of that too. Yeah, once I think while everyone's still trying to figure out how to live this way, it's everyone's going to be finding their footing for a while. But once we're there, we'll be all good. Yeah, just hoping that the in- the music industry and the creative industry in general just gets on its feet again because we need that pumping. Yes, we do. It's amazing how much money it does bring to our communities mm-hmm. and to our economy as well. And that's a, it's one of the things that we want to see. So what's what's next? Is there more music coming from you girls as well? We've got another song on the way later in the year? There is. There is. We... Um I don't even know how much I'm allowed to give away, but I think that this next one everyone's going to absolutely love. But I set up for a lot of our songs. I'm a bit biased myself. Yeah. Um, we did record this while we were down in Terrigal um, when we were recording Scouts on Us. So there's a couple up our sleeve that we can't wait to share with everyone. Okay. And will there be a fun video to go with it? Because I really love the video for Break It Easy. <laughs> love the video for break it easy too um there will be there will be where it was a bit hard with um miss scarlet making her little entrance <laughs> to the world she just um we have to go with her schedule now yeah. <laughs> and nina recovering so it's the, it's the plan we're we're getting there just yeah. it just took a little bit longer this time <laughs> understand that understand that all right well 
Lulu, it is great chatting to you. I love chatting to you girls. Good luck with everything and give us a little give a little cuddle for me and all the flow team to young Scout oh, when you see her as well and, and all the best uh, to Nina and Scout and the rest of you. Good luck with Gimpy. I know you, if you get on stage, take a moment to really savour it and enjoy it. Oh, I will. Thank you so much. I really hope fingers and yeah. toes are all crossed for us and I hope you are staying safe down there as well. We certainly are. Take your phone out your pocket and get a photo while you're on stage. You might oh, I will. It. You might I need it sure amongst all those ones you've got of scouts. So. <laughs> It'll be swimming in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu, it's great chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us today on Flow. We've got the song ready to go. If you could please introduce it for all our Flow listeners. Oh, I would love to. Hi, everyone. My name's Lulu. I'm from Vixens of Fall, and you're listening to Scouts Honour. star in my sky sweet baby I'm already holding you tight I've been waiting my whole life just to look into your eyes and say I promise scouts on earth there's nothing I wouldn't do Watching over like a lucky charm just for you Wherever you wander, I'll help make you stronger So all of your dreams come true From the first kick I knew my whole world would revolve around you I promise, scouts on earth Just for you 